And here we are. Welcome everybody. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching this brief video. Um, my name is Anna and I am the content architect for Booming Group. And we're joined here with, um, with Catherine Silvera, who is one of the Booming Group founders. Say hello, Kathy. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody. Today we have the pleasure of interviewing Lauren Hadassah who recently launched um, her course, Powered by Heart, and she's going to talk about um, her journey and how she developed her course and the, the challenges and the pitfalls and also the triumphs. So uh, <laughs> thank you <laughs> once again for joining us um, in this very brief vid video. We hope that you can gain um, uh, inspiration and also some uh, advice and tricks and empowerment mm -hmm. to pursue your own path in whatever entrepreneurial journey um, you're undergoing today. Um, so welcome, Lauren. Thank you for taking this time uh, to join us. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yes, of course. Um, I'd like to begin um, by allowing you to introduce yourself um, to tell us a little bit about your background, your professional mm -hmm. background, um, and we'll start from there. Lauren? So, um Let's see, I'm a somatic psychotherapist, which means that my training is in what's called body-oriented psychotherapy, and we'll talk a little bit about what that is in a minute. Um, before becoming a somatic psychotherapist, I also studied um, what was called the indigenous mind, um, and I did a graduate program that really looked at our ancestral history and began to understand how our family lineage and culture all passed down beliefs and um, emotions or ways of viewing in the world that are still with us today. So that's something that I carry with me in this work. And prior to that, I have a history of doing social organizing, working with nonprofit organizations, particularly around protecting the environment. So those are a lot of the elements, I think, that feed into how I show up as both a coach and a psychotherapist. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, so in this course that you recently launched, um, can you tell us a little bit how you arrived there or what um, were the different elements or the, the different, uh, I guess, your push for launching the course or for even coming up with the course, designing the course? Yeah. What was the path that led you to that decision? Yeah, it was a little bit of a journey. I feel like, <laughs> it's, <laughs> as is the case probably for many of us when we're looking to manifest something that's coming right through us. Um, about three years ago, I came to Booming Group and met with Catherine. And as a psychotherapist, I had this vision that I really wanted to look at ways that my, my gifts could be of service, um, particularly in allowing people to heal and find a sense of empowerment in their being so that we can all be a part of creating something beautiful in the world. So that's really my burning desire. And at the time, I didn't know what that would mean, but I felt like I wanted to be able to offer some program. And this one came to me really through my own personal experience. It started that I was going through a challenging time in my life. And I really needed tools to help me get out of a higher state of anxiety than I was used to. Um, and it took me a little while. It had been, my mother had passed away. And so in the wake of that experience and my grieving process, I had much higher anxiety than I was used to. And wow. in managing that, I was trying to meditate and it wasn't really having an impact. And all of a sudden, as I was sitting down one day, I had this remembrance of something I had learned in graduate school. Um, and it kind of, in the moment, it actually made me laugh because I realized that I've spent years studying somatic psychology and understanding the nervous system and what it takes to calm the nervous system. But when it comes to yourself, <laughs> it always takes a little longer to recognize what is needed. Um, but I had that moment of a spark and it led me to meditating on my heart and that first day that I did the practice, all I did was feel for my heartbeat. And immediately I noticed in myself that my thoughts and my emotions began to shift. Um, and I've shared this in other places. The reality is that it didn't, the impact didn't last all that long. 
And I had to continue to come back to the practice and continue to come back. But over days and weeks, the benefit that I got from just sensing my own heartbeat and not even adding the other elements into the practice that you'll learn if you if you decide to take part in it just that benefit began to make massive change for me and I started to feel more myself I started to feel more sense of hopefulness um, and positive and capability again and in that process I had this awareness that this was going to be the thing that I shared um, and at the same time that I understood this was going to be what I shared, I had all sorts of reasons why not to do it. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the last couple of years from that first spark until this week where we've been able to launch the program has really been this journey of learning all sorts of new skills and being willing to face all of the limiting beliefs that I have so that I could kind of break through all of that and offer this thing out. That's awesome. So in your uh, going back to your professional practice of being a somatic psychotherapist, mm -hmm. uh, how much of that experience or how much of that mm -hmm. um, professional practice kind of extends to um, what you delivered in this course? Yeah. And then backing up to that so this is a hard <laughs> question really um prior to meeting you i this term was actually very new to me and i had to look it up you know when i first met you some months ago um so i guess backing up a bit um if you can explain a little bit more about the approach that somatic psychotherapy um takes on and then also how that professional practice extends into um, the course that you developed in Powered by Heart. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, so somatics is a relatively newer form of psychotherapy or the link between somatics and psychotherapy is just really beginning to explode right now. So it's actually a really fun place to be researching and work to be a part of. When I look at the somatics and psychotherapy, I look at it from two different frames. Um, the first is that when we're going through, either we've experienced something traumatic that we're having a big reaction to, that can put us into a state of fight, flight, or freeze, where our nervous system is activated um, and it's hard to relax or it's hard to just be in a comfortable flow. So when we're in that state, the somatics, the practice of somatics is teaching us how to bring our nervous system back. And here's what I wanted to say. So when it can either be that it was a traumatic thing that gets us activated in that way, or that just the daily stress of our lives, the intensity of trying to keep up, or recently I hear a lot of people struggling with just hearing the news reports of what's happening in the world, that it can be incredibly activating to our nervous system. And what happens is when we get stuck in that fight, flight, or freeze, either we're gonna feel kind of stuck and heavy, or we're gonna feel really hyperactive where it's hard to focus and difficult with like our anxiety or excitement makes it really hard to just take simple steps. Mm. Our nervous system doesn't know, like I can tell you that everything's fine and you can take your time, but our nervous system doesn't get that, so it keeps us amped up anyway. So in an ordinary talk therapy, you may not get towards the switch off of how to get the nervous system to come back to a state of rest and digest. Mm -hmm. And in that rest and digest, you can kind of feel your muscles begin to settle, your breathing calms, and my mind starts to focus in so I can, again, do one thing at a time. Um, I can also relax enough to get a feeling of happiness or hopefulness, even amidst all of the other things going on. That's awesome. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. 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 So the great. somatics, the idea is that we come up with a physical tool that can be with the breath, that can be by feeling the heartbeat, which is this practice, um, that will actually just directly send that message to your nervous system to relax. That's awesome. Cool. Yeah. So and then the other, oh, go ahead. Uh, no, so I wanted I wanted to 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 hear mm -hmm. uh, from you, Lauren, because one it's my my perception and my own experience of like the work that you have done with all of us and mm -hmm. with me individually. So oh, it's it's different to experience <laughs> that and 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 hear you talking and you say, wow, yeah, that's what happens. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you can share with our community uh, from for us as business owners or entrepreneurs starting a business or well, like 
ab about to take a leap to expand their business, how, how this practice can help us. Yeah, yeah. So I think two ways. So most importantly, the thing that I love about working with entrepreneurs is that we're surrounded by people who are visionary, who are really passionate about what we're doing, who want to be of service in the world. And that, that to me is a lot of fun. And then one of the potential pitfalls is that it can lead to a lot of excitement. And excitement is like the positive side of your nervous system where it's, we're still buzzing and it can be hard to focus, but it's fun. <laughs> but as entrepreneurs, sometimes we need to be able to just ground that energy to have it be a little bit more settled so that we're able to strategically build our business in a way that creates a strong foundation. So the Powered by Heart practice, I feel like, is incredibly important because it brings us back into the space of our heart, into a place where we can be settled and fluid and focused and make concrete steps. Um, so to me, I think that's the most important piece. The other part, though, that's fun is that I think we learn to understand the voice of our heart. And I don't mean it in like the new age <laughs> way, but what I notice is that depending on where my attention is kind of outside of myself or in my nervous system or wherever I'm kind of attuning to, my emotions and my thoughts align to that. And if I bring myself into my heart space, it literally, it's like bringing you into the center of your being. And it does appear to be in my experience of myself and in witnessing other people that when we take the time to do this practice and get into our heart, the voice that comes out, the emotions that we have or the desires that we have from this particular place tend to be they tend to be the, th the voice that we really want to listen to. Like it's our essence. It's our sense of purpose. And so as an entrepreneur, especially self-aware entrepreneurs who do want to do something of service, it feels really important that we learn to understand the voice of our heart versus the voice of fear or our nerves. Wow. Wow. No, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, yeah. uh, Lauren, and the, the part like of, for you as a, you are a business owner yourself and yeah. a visionary <laughs> so, uh, launching this like from having the vision of powered by heart and and giving birth to to this program mm -hmm. how that impacted your business <laughs> um you know well i'll start by just sharing this i've had um this vision of how i would like for my business to be for a long time that includes a sort of natural flow between my personal life and my professional life um, that gives me lots of opportunities to be in deep connection with people and witness people having breakthroughs or really taking the newfound energy they have and putting it forward into the world. So recently, one of the shifts that I'm making is I'm able to work part time from home um, and to be able to see my coaching clients over Skype that way. And I had this one day where I saw three clients in a row and just had these like really like witnessing people go for, like really get into the heart of where their struggle was. Somebody like having the idea that they'd been struggling to have just come right through. So the sessions were really invigorating. And then I got to take a break and I'm at home. So I got to go outside and garden which has been my dream for a very long time to have a place where I could be gardening. And so I think the breakthrough with my work is that the ability to do work that I love leaves me energized, which allows me the space and the freedom to go outside and take a break and spend an hour getting my hands in the dirt and being <laughs> in the sunshine and then coming back feeling like I want to do more. Um, that's awesome. So I guess that's one breakthrough yeah. in my work. And I think there's a lot. <laughs> just with that one i'm like oh my gosh that's <laughs> that is awesome great um yeah so no no that's that's been awesome lauren um is there anything else you'd like to add um in terms of your experience or or maybe um, advice to other business owners or entrepreneurs who might be at the edge of uh, or at the you know, at the moments of mm -hmm. making decisions, um, mm -hmm. I'd like to give mm -hmm. out in terms of uh, advice or empowerment or anything. I guess for me, you know, one of the one of the biggest lessons that I have gotten is that 
is to trust in the initial vision that I have and to continue following it through. And a couple of places that I found where I wanted to break from it, one is that the moment, I said this earlier, the moment that I had the thought that this is going to be the program that I'm going to share, then immediately I had all of these feelings of like, or stories in my head that, well, why would anybody else want to do this? It's kind of silly. Um, or I've never, I'm not very comfortable in front of a camera. And so how am I, how am I going to do that? I have to make these videos and that's not really who I am or promoting in the way that you need to, to offer this kind of program. Uh, you know, I had all sorts of reasons not to do it. Mm -hmm. Um, and so the first part was for me was that I had to be willing to trust in the vision, even when it was taking me to places that were uncomfortable. Um, I had to challenge myself and stay with it when I had to figure out the technology and all of the different aspects of creating the program in a way that I feel like I can hand it off to people when I'm not there with you doing it. Mm. Um, so staying with it, even though those blocks come up, some of them are limiting beliefs that I had to recognize and work with myself. And then some of them were actually just the logistics of what it takes to create the vision that we have and manifest it into reality that I didn't have all of the resources right away. So I had to look at, well, how can I do this? How can I do this right now? And I was fortunate enough to team up with Catherine and be able to create a partnership that made things possible that I didn't have to do it all on my own. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Very cool. And so Powered by Heart, it is a 30-day program and yeah. it's delivered online, mm -hmm. correct? Oh, that's awesome. right. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I guess just before we conclude um, this wonderful interview, um, just tell us a little bit uh, about how Powered by Heart is structured um, or how the program itself is structured. Um, yeah. And then yeah. So I'll just give you a little background. So the way the program started with the Powered by Heart meditation, which is a guided meditation that gets you to actually sense your own heartbeat. And from the somatic psychology perspective, just that is going to begin the process of creating a shift. Um, wow. you now for me, one of those limiting beliefs I had was, is that enough or will people understand that? And fortunately what happened is that I was doing a little, I was reading um, and found a psychology magazine that had an article referencing research that had happened out of the Royal Holloway University in London that specifically studied the impact of people's ability to sense their own heartbeat. And at the time, I was just like, oh, my God, this is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because, again, I'd studied it in grad school. I knew that it was a thing, but I didn't know that it was this big a thing. Like, people are studying it, and there, are, there is valid scientific research to show the impact of our ability just to feel our own heartbeat, that it actually shifts our perception of self. Um, and gives us a sense of, of our own ability to be with whoever we are, a self-acceptance that we may not have had before. So, wow. so first I was able to, I fell upon that one and then did a lot more research to make sure that there is foundation underneath of the program. So the way that you'll receive it is that you start with the physical part, the meditation and some journaling that goes along with that. And each week, we'll add on another element to the, to the practice. So what eventually is going to happen is you're going to build a daily practice that's based in what I call the pathways of change. So it focuses on the three pathways, which are your physical body, your emotional body, and your cognitive body. Wow. Okay. Um, and if you get into the program, you'll learn a lot more about how that works, but there'll be practices that aim at each of these bodies that allow you to own the transformation in your being in a more full or complete way. And uh, Lauren, uh, through, throughout this uh, conversation, uh, you share with us like the different states where we can find ourselves and then Powered by Heart could be a, a, a great tool for us to, to uh, transition to a different state. Uh, and, and when I think about the program, it can be, it can be a practice, a useful and powerful practice for many things mm -hmm. that can guide us and, and help us like identify some states that like we as individuals can find ourselves mm -hmm. right now and that we can identify like, yes, this practice is right for me. Mm -hmm. I think, 
you, to me, the place where it is most helpful are three. One is when I'm like, you, like this comes up for me a lot now while I'm launching the program that I get so excited that I'm like, oh, like it feels like I'm energetically bouncing off the walls and I haven't had any caffeine. <laughs> so the practice, again, it brings me into myself. The next is when I'm really anxious. If something's gotten under my skin, I'm like, I, just, I can't let go of it. My mind is spinning out on it. I can't focus on other things. Again, or I have that feeling of constant urgency. Again, the practice is really like, this is the thing that has brought me back into the center of my being where I can let go of that urgency and just pick things up one at a time. And then I think one of the other states that this has really been useful for is those moments where instead of the excitement or anxiety, we feel kind of heavy and stuck. Or like, what's the point? It's useless. It's not going to work anyway. That when I get back into the space of my heart, I can start to feel the flow that gets me into a little bit of movement so that I can start to pick up and go again. Awesome. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you, Lauren, um, so much for taking this time to yeah. tell us about your course and your journey. We really appreciate it. Um, and Kathy, thanks also for uh, being here. And thank you to all of us. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you all uh, to our community for your continued support. Um, and uh, we wish you the best for the rest of this week. You know, it's going to be a tough one tomorrow for some of us, but um, we're around. Do not hesitate to um, reach out to us if you need any help or if you just want to say hello.